We're in Sydney, Australia, next to the famous Opera House. Brady, our video journalist, is from Australia. He's never been into the Opera House, and I haven't been inside yet either. But he's challenged me, find something chemical to say about the Opera House. So I looked at the famous ceramic tiles that covers the roof. They look nice, but I don't see any interesting chemistry there. But then I remembered there is a famous chemist, Borodin, Russian chemist, who wrote operas. As far as I know, he may be the only chemist who wrote operas. And he wrote a famous opera called Prince Igor. So he's now really famous for his music. But he also had some quite interesting chemistry. And he discovered a reaction of aldehydes called the aldol reaction, which I and my students have worked on. We published a paper about it quite recently. But I think it's an important point for you to realize, taking Borodin as an example, that chemists are often very talented people. They don't just do chemistry. They do other things as well, write music, sometimes perhaps paint pictures, write books, whatever. I sometimes listen to opera, but it's not my favorite form of music. I have a colleague who's a professor at Nottingham who's really very keen on opera. I prefer classical music, I think, without the singing. But I've only been to an opera once or twice in my life, so I can't claim to be an expert on operas. You said chemists can be multi-talented and have skills beyond chemistry. What's your hidden skill that we don't know about? I think I'm just obsessed with chemistry and I wouldn't claim to have any other skill apart from chemistry.